take a look at the UFC. It's popular in Europe. It's popular in South America. It's popular here in the Caribbean. It's popular in the United States. This is an entity that is just beginning to blossom. the 21st century dawns, a new breed of fighter emerges, spanning all disciplines, with the finesse of a master martial artist and the guts of a seasoned street brawler. The Ultimate Fighter, the future is here, now, tonight, the Ultimate Fighting Championship 8. The Ultimate Fighting Championship 8. Let's open up the gates. It's the David versus Goliath single elimination tournament without the slingshot. Size versus skill, bulk versus bravado. But there is another mystery here in San Juan. Chupacabra. It is a Puerto Rican mystery monster. They're boogeyman. Our fighters don't care about mystery monsters. They don't care about blood. The only thing they're interested in is victory. So we are set to go with our first quarterfinal bout of the evening. And right now, here comes Don Fry to the Octagon. The Ultimate Fighting Championship number eight. Welcome to the Ruben Rodriguez Coliseum. And we are underway. And Fry fires down Ramirez, and that is it. It's over. Ramirez got knocked into the chain link fence. The foul has been stopped by Big John McCarthy. They connected with that first right and there. Bam, there that was the one that right there. It was a short right hand. And that hand went right into the fence, and John McCarthy was right there. It's just looks and like a there it is right there. That was very short. I mean, his head didn't even flinch. That's right all it takes. If you hit a guy on the button, which is the chin, which we haven't seen a lot of here at the UFCA, guys hitting the chin. But the chin is, uh, no matter how tough you are, you cannot absorb a blow to the chin. He clearly is way more powerful than Paul Herrera. And quickly, Herrera shoots the leg. And Herrera's a very good grappler here. Oh. Oh, my. Elbows in number by Goodridge, and that is it. Goodridge went pounding to Herrera's head with those elbows. Boy, that was fast. Wow. That was short and sweet. That was explosive. Take a look at the UFC. It's popular in Europe. It's popular in South America. It's popular here in the Caribbean. It's popular in the United States. This is an entity that is just beginning to blossom. There's right. the beast, Dan Severin, by his side. That is Don Fry's side. Here we go. Fry and Atkins. Boxing. They both, you know, one had 13, the other had eight fights. So it'll be interesting. Oh, There's wrestling. Good takedown by Don Fry. That was quick. Pounding at the head quickly of Atkins. That's it. He tapped on the arm. I didn't think John McCarthy no, saw no, it. I, he's tapping, I thought, there. No, I, I think he's just uh, trying to get a hand around him. Boy, I don't know. That was close. Fry is just pummeling away at Atkins. Uh, he's got him cut now. He's got him cut with the right hand. Big John McCarthy ends it. Big John McCarthy ends it right there. Fry, a flurry of power. Wow. And there's that mutual respect. Uh, we like to see that. That's honor, nice. honor in the martial arts. That's what sets it apart from a lot of other sports. There's great honor here. Do you think anyone can beat Goodrich? Can Don Fry take it? Well, I'll tell you what I think. If they get to the ground, it's Goodrich. If they stay on their feet, it's going to be Fry. Donnie Fry against Gary Goodrich. Very open to attack, as we saw against Bo Lander. The he UFC was, 8 for the title. He was able to overcome technique in his last bout, but he used up a lot of energy. He seemed to be tiring a little bit, so we'll see if that works for him against Don Fry. Fry is very fresh. Has fought less than a minute in the octagon tonight. Quick right jabs. If There's stays, a right hand by Fry. If it stays up, I put my money on Fry. Fry trying to trip Goodrich. Oh, I wouldn't let Goodrich in there. No, because with his strength, he's dangerous. Look out. Goodrich got behind Fry. Fry, Fry landing some him. good elbows. And a drop to the canvas by Goodrich. Missed with the big kick. That kind of attack really doesn't have a place. I mean, it's, it's a long shot, but 
I'm not sure if it's really worth it. You have him in a vulnerable position. Work it. It's dramatic. Very dramatic. It's more like the movies, Don the Dragon. Well, yeah, but there's a choreographer in the movies. Uh, and Big John's no choreographer. Up against the octagon fence. Again, knees being landed by Fry. You notice that Gary Goodrich took the gi off. Perhaps that gi in this kind of a heat was really something that worked against him. There goes oh. the mouthpiece from Goodrich's mouth, I believe. Oh, underhooks. He's going to go out. Gary Goodrich He's is done. really in Fry. trouble here. Fry landed three or four good right hands. He had him going. He got a couple of short uppercuts in there. I thought he had him stunned. He has some great boxing skill there, Don. Undercut or uppercuts and then uh, roundhouse hooks. And There's short shots. That's yep. what's impressing me. It's the short shots that he's landing on them, not the wide shots. Hey, Don, short uppercuts are effective. Goodrich picks him up and drops him. Watch for the choke here. He's, he's behind him. He's behind him. And Fry rolls him. And another right hand by Fry. He's trying to get that explosive punching power out there. There it is. That's it. It's That's over. Don Fry. Donnie Fry wins it. The David beats the Goliath. Those short right hands did it again. Don Fry wins the David versus Goliath tournament. And I think that's the first time I've seen a towel get thrown in. The towel went in. 206 pounds wins it. It took two minutes and 14 seconds. And look at that mutual respect. Well, these guys have nothing against each other. This is not two men who have anything personal against each other. They're competitors competing in a sport. Tonight, it's UFC 9, featuring the Clash of the Titans, Super Fight Champion Ken Shamrock in the historic rematch with UFC 5 Champion and ultimate, ultimate winner, Dan Severn. The Beast is back, and he's looking for revenge. Can he crush The Rock, or will Shamrock roll on as the UFC's first and only Super Fight Champion? Big one, are you ready? Two best fighters are you in the ready? UFC currently. Let's get it on! The only other one who's got their kind of records. The last time they stayed on their feet the whole time and Shamrock choked them out. No one engaging by either fighter. Now Shamrock lands a right and he's starting to find the ring. I don't think this is a battle that's ever been winner. Shamrock had him by the head there for a minute. He was looking for it. And I'll tell you, I think that boasted Shamrock's confidence and may have frustrated Severn. He had an opportunity, it got away. But there goes Severn. There he goes. Again. He ripped the leg. He's got the leg. He's got the leg. Severn in on that left ankle. Severn's in trouble. Shamrock grabbed the knee. Severn's in trouble. Let's see what he's got for a guard here. He turned the wrong way coming out the back door. He should have followed the leg. A minute 40 to go. Stutter makes a quick move. Stutter with the reverse guard. I can't believe that. And a headbutt from Stutter and another. It's on the right eye area, and Severn begins to pound away. This is where Dan Severn wants to be. He wants to be in the mouth. It's a hungry Severn looking at exerting the strength and power. A minute to go in regulation. This is a new fight now. Whoa. Severn is catching up. Whoa, and I tell you what. Shamrock's getting popped pretty good in the face, and he's bleeding pretty he's good. He's taking really more punishment. Boy, Severn hung in there, and he waited, biting his time, oh. made a big risk to oh, get away. Man. And it worked. He is starting now to take advantage of being in this top position. I don't know how he got out of that. He has done more 
take damage in 30 seconds than Ken was able to do in 10 minutes. Work it, come on! Final seconds of regulation. Oh, right hand by Severn. Let's go! Another one. Ken's right eye is very oh, bloody. He may, be, he may lose this just on the cut. Wow. And boy, I'll tell you, this one's too close to call. It comes down to the judges. Oh. Things are being thrown into the octagon, which you don't like to see at all. No, but the fans are honest, you know, they're not gonna hide their feelings. Let's go to the G-man, Rich Goins, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to go to a judge's decision. First of all, Judge Robert Ferguson scores the fight for Shamrock. <laughs> Judge Steve Necklia scores the fight for Severn. And finally, Judge Luther Campbell, Big Lou, scores the fight for Severn. The winner. Dan Severn the wins Dan Severn. the super fight by decision. And there is the mutual respect that Jeff talked about between these two fighters. Severn has achieved what he wanted to. This is where the big boys come to play. The ultimate fighting championship. And this is their playpen, the Octagon. Home to the toughest, most intense hand-to-hand -hand combat ever. Yes, it's UFC 10, the tournament where eight fighters walk in and only one champion walks out. The ultimate fighting champion, ready for the ultimate test of skill and will, of style and guile. It's UFC 10, a milestone in martial arts history. The octagon awaits. Seeing is believing. Let's open up the gate. Welcome to UFC 10, and tonight, the tournament returns. It's the format that UFC fans know best, and the format in which you have to win three grueling fights in one night. Here comes Mark Coleman, 1988 NCAA champion out of Ohio State, a Buckeye, a two-time Pan Am Games gold medalist, Olympic team member in 92. We saw what Mark Schultz did in his debut in the UFC. Let's see what Coleman does. It's Horenstein coming after him, deflects that first double. Coleman takes him down. And we're in the guard here. A big punch by Coleman to the face of Horenstein. Modi covering up. Well, he's elbowing what appears to be Coleman's right thigh. Oh, right here. Coleman, a couple of bombs to Hornstein. And that ended Good it. Job. Big John McCarthy said Good no job. more. Modi is okay. Coleman, wow, he's got to be calmed down. He doesn't even want to stop. Now he's a little excited. First time in there, break the ice. He'll calm down. You could see the punching power of Coleman when it's on a direct line. All right. Big Daddy against Coleman. What do you think, Jeff? This is too close to call, but I'd Here have we to go, go with. You ready? I'm going to have to go with Coleman with superior out. grappling skill, but boy, I'll tell you, Goodrich is dangerous. But Campatella gave him a heck of a fight for as long as it lasted. There's the shot. Coleman takes him down. Goodrich quickly gets to the guard. And here's somebody that's really powerful. Coleman is not weak at all. He's very, very strong. Yes, yes, yes. Trying to pass the guard. He did it. Good move by Coleman. Got Goodrich up against the fence. That's where he wanted to choke, but there's no room for him to really come over the top. Gary to his knees. Watch for some play. Also watch for that Goodrich elbow. Right, and Coleman caught the elbow. Oh, an uppercut by Coleman. Nice move, trying to set him up for the suit play. Got to get his hands off that chain link fence. And there he was looking perhaps for a choke. A clean break. Here comes Big Daddy. He looks mean and ready. Goodrich misses. There's the double. Coleman's got him on the takedown. 
And there's that power and the experience on the mat. None of them the real bomb that he was looking work. for. Couple got through. That's There's it. a knee to the head. Just keep it at bay. A pretty good tactic. Again, he's mixing it up with both lower and upper body strikes. Work and work. This is the concept of look for the choke. Now he wants There it is. It's a tap out. He got him. Mark Coleman is into the finals of his first UFC. Don, you're undefeated. Everyone knows who you are now. Do you find it a little bit more difficult? I enjoy being in this position. You know, it's like being a trained dog, an uh, attack dog. Uh, you have a job, you do it. You see somebody, you kill them. Here's our matchup for the championship. The Predator, Don Fry, against Mark Coleman. Tell me, Birmingham, Alabama, are you ready? Championship of the evening. Let's get it on. Here we go. Championship of UFC 10. The tournament is back. It'll be interesting here whether Coleman can get inside. And I don't think Fry spent very much time on the ground. On his back. He hasn't been in the guard too many times. I'm sure he's versed in Oh, good quick move. That's called a short drag off that front headlock sprawl. Great job by Coleman. This is the power Nelson. This is pure wrestling technique. Oh, and there's my. the there's a choke looking for there, but he's not able to really sink it in tight because he's under the arm. And also the sweat makes for a difficult choke. I think it's a time to get the opponent on there. I really think Coleman now Fry is now on top. Coleman is very tired. Is in position to unleash a right hand if he can gather control of Coleman. And here's where the power comes in. Pick up by Coleman! Look out! Look at his power! But Fry ran down to the fence, and Coleman ran into a punch. Oh! Right hand by Coleman, another! What a battle! What a battle! Don took some grueling shots just in. Well, Fry will get a break if he gets to the 15-minute mark. Give it up, give it up! And that is all, Big John McCarthy. I think has called it off, or is he calling for the doctor again? He wants the doctor again. He has not called it off. That's it, baby. You got yeah. it. Brother. I think it's going to be over. He's bringing Fry That's out. That's it. Yep. That's going to be it. We've got Come a new here. champion. Mark Coleman in his first UFC will be a winner. Mark Coleman wins UFC 10 in Birmingham, Alabama. Don Fry's reign is over for the time being. You've got to pick up your phone. You've got to call your local cable operator. You've got to make sure that they're carrying the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And along the way, if you're interested as a viewer of the program, talk to your talk shows in your area. Uh, let people at their local DJ station know that you're interested. Call your mom. It's going to be an exciting UFC coming up, the ultimate, ultimate December 7th. You've got to call your local cable company and tell them you want it. He's got a mean streak. It runs 10 generations deep. Pennsylvania Dutch, Irish, Scottish, Cherokee warrior. The Predator is looking to re-establish himself as the master of the octagon. A rematch of UFC 8 in Puerto Rico in February. Fry won it in 2 minutes and 14 seconds. You're absolutely right. Here we go. Goodrich wearing the key. Quick right hand landed by Fry. Up against the octagon fence and back off. Knee by Fry. That had some impact to it. It backed Goodrich right off. This is where Fry was so effective. Uppercut hook, uppercut hook. Up against the octagon fence again. They've spent a lot of energy pushing, shoving, fighting up against the fence. Take down by Goodrich. Goodrich. Goodrich now has Fry on his back. We have not seen this often. Fry looking to try to get off the bottom. Oh, good right hand by Don Fry. And he's looking to go for the arm bar again. This he might be able to get out of now. Let's see if Fry can move from here. A minute to go before overtime. 
Goodrich perhaps looking for a choke. Watch him try it for the big knee. Fry grabs the leg. And Goodrich is tap out. Goodrich is exhausted. Fry wins it. Oh, it can happen quick, Bruce. Fry reversed him, got him top. And Big Daddy was tired. And Big Daddy tapped out rather than take the punishment. With just 40 seconds left in regulation, Fry wins by submission. Here we go. Tap it straight ahead. Nelmark landed him a tank, sent him into the octagon wall. I don't know if Nelmark wants to wrestle with Tank Abbott. Abbott. And this is where Taktarov choked him out, was with that guillotine. Tank ferocious, landing blows. Nelmar can't see to throw a punch. Tank all over him. Oh, he's in trouble. Nelmar he's in, is in trouble. trouble. It's all Tank right now. Nelmar doesn't defend himself soon. McCarthy may step in. Oh, oh that's it. Down right oh, that's it. A knockout. Oh, my. I'm off the fence. Oh, a punishing shot by Abbott. A devastating right hand. Fry would like to get this over if he can quickly. Takedown by Fry. He's got the superior grappling skills. And he's looking for a submission. Paul fighting it off. Oh, he's in he trouble. It. Oh, he was he in got trouble. Fry knew what he wanted to do, did it quickly. Oh, he might have hurt the leg, too. Fry went after him. Paul's in a great deal of pain. Tank Abbott looking for his first ever UFC title against the Predator, Don Fry. Let's get it all! We're underway and they just walk towards each other in the center. Here it is, the most intense bare knuckle combat anywhere on the planet. Oh! Tank hit him with a left straight to the head. It was really like a jab, but boy, did it floor fry. They did it again. Look at Tank. Another Fox. one. Oh! Fry is trying to slug with Tank. This is Tank's game. Tank wins again. Boy, they're going toe to toe. There is no grappling in this whatsoever. Clinch right now, but neither athlete looking like they. Oh, another right hand. Tank is hitting Fry. Fry is throwing some counters, but the big punches have come from the tank. Oh, uppercut by Tank. Both fighters are bloody. Tank goes down. Might have been a slip, though. I don't know if Fry nailed him or not. But he went down, and now Fry is at his game. Looking for a submission. This is his strength on the mat. Tank's in trouble. I don't think he has it under the nope. chin. He no got choke. Out he got out of it. Tank grabbing Fry's foot. Fry trying to sink a choke. And notice up, Fry has won. The ultimate, ultimate 96. Oh my gosh, what an ending. As fast as it started, look how quick it ended. Don Fry wins the ultimate, ultimate. And when you look back at tonight, we talked about 100% pure adrenaline, 1,000% pure guts. There's no question that Don Fry showed both tonight. For Tony Flower, Manny Garcia, and Jeff Blatnick, I'm Bruce Speck saying good night. Seeing truly is believing.